Hi students, I'm Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the term relationship. So in the previous lecture, we had discussed the class diagram. A class diagram shows a set of classes, interfaces and collaboration and their relationships. These relationships are discussing and detailing in this lecture. A relationship is a collaboration between different classes within a program. In the case of a relationship, we can say there are mainly four different relationships associated with a class diagram. First one is inheritance, association, aggregation and composition. So the inheritance association can be explained with an example. Here the inheritance is represented with a triangle. In the case of inheritance, let us consider an example. Here we can see a class called animal and the different attributes with this class is name, id and weight and the functions associated with this is mammal of and as well as get weight of method. So here all the attributes are private attributes as well as all the methods are public methods. So here we can see three different objects. The first one is a tiger, second one is an elephant and third one is a lion. Each of these animals belongs to the class or the super class animal. So here we can see the tiger class has the name Sher Khan with some ID value 9787 and has a weight of 250 or 250. So this class, tiger class, is inherited from the animal. Thus we are representing the symbol of inheritance triangle which is starting from the animal class and it is towards the class called the tiger. The second class is the elephant. The here we are mentioning the elephant name as Dumbo with the ID value 342 and the weight as 6000. And this elephant Dumbo is inheriting the values from the base class. As well as similarly in the case of lion, the name is Leo with ID value 1233 with a weight of 150 and the lion is also inheriting the values from the base class animal. Here the base class or the class from which all the other classes inherited is known as the base class, super class or parent class and the classes like lion, tiger, elephant, all these classes inherited the values from the base class animal and these classes are known as subclasses or child classes or inherited classes. So this is how we are representing the relationship inheritance. So many students next we are representing the relationship association. The association can be represented by a straight line. For example, let us consider the relationship association. So earlier we had mentioned the class animal and the classes like lion, tiger and elephant inherited values from the animal. Here we are mentioning a different relationship called association. We are mentioning an association. Let us consider a class rabbit. This rabbit class is associated with the class tiger. The association can be represented by representing a straight line and the association between the tiger and rabbit is tiger eats rabbit. This association is read in such a way that this reading can be done from top to bottom or from left to right. This order is very much important because we have to read it as tiger eats rabbit, not in the reverse order. So the association is mentioned. The next one to be discussed is the aggregation relationship. Here aggregation can be represented by a open diamond or unshaded diamond. The aggregation can also be mentioned by the previous examples. Here the animal class is inherited to tiger, elephant and lion and we can see an association between tiger and the rabbit class. And next we are mentioning the aggregation. Here we are representing a class called a streak. Here streak means a group of tigers or a streak is associated with a tiger that is a streak is an aggregation of the class tiger that is all the properties of tiger can be grouped into the streak class and this streak class has more than one type of object
the next relationship is the composition a composition is represented by a closed or shaded diamond so let us consider another example here we are considering a class called hotel class name is hotel and we are representing two other classes called lobby and bathroom these two classes are in relationship with the hotel class and here we can say that without the lobby and bathroom the hotel class cannot be contained or a hotel class should have a lobby as well as a bathroom so without this lobby and bathroom the hotel does not exist as well as without a hotel the lobby and bathroom of that hotel doesn't exist so now let us consider the term composition so the composition means one class dependent upon another or without that particular class the subclass doesn't exist so next comes the term multiplicity this multiplicity is related to composition so here we can see a hotel has a lobby as well as a hotel has a bathroom the multiplicity means the total number of existence of that particular classes or object for example a hotel may have one lobby or simply all of the most of the hotels must have a lobby and a hotel have at least one bathroom which means it may have one to many number of bathrooms so this numbering can be represented by using the multiplicity factor for example just one can be mentioned in the class side lobby at the end point of the relationship of the lobby we are mentioning one as well as beside the bathroom class we are mentioning one etc etc up to many this can be read as a hotel has one lobby a hotel has one to many bathrooms so the different multiplicity associated with the classes counts from 0 to 1 a particular specific number 0 to many 1 to many or between two different number ranges so these are the different multiplicities associated with a class so my dear students we had mentioned the class diagram associated with the uml in this lecture so as we mentioned a class diagram show a set of classes interfaces and collaborations and other relationship associated with the classes in a particular program or a procedure this is the most common diagram found in the object oriented system so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly write down the assignment question the assignment question is write notes on the relationship in the uml class diagrams so dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss in detail about some examples relating with the uml class diagrams